uh, which we have optimism and we, we think that eventually, um, you know, it's possible that the two parties will just decide somehow decide that the public good does matter. And they have a chance. There, there are no heroes right now. There's no heroes on any side of this. We said in our statement pretty clearly that without government leadership and engagement and a strong pressure point from the government, and that doesn't just mean some of our county leaders and state leaders in Maryland, and they've been helpful, but it's got to go up to the leadership chain in both states all the way up. And we have been involved in talking with them about it. And it, at this point, Neither of the governors or the secretaries of transportation have really said, we're going to step into this and try to get this moving forward. It just hasn't happened. This isn't a major uh, transportation solution that needs to be debated and built over a 15 year time period. This is a boat crossing the river and the two private parties cannot reach an agreement and the two political sides of the river can't force them. It's been clear for a long time and it's to us even longer than probably a lot of other parties, that the private negotiation process is bankrupt. Uh, it, they just don't want to do a deal. That's pretty clear. And if that's the case, I think at this point, the only possible option that could have some kind of outcome that would be positive would be for the leadership in the two states to decide that it's important enough to get involved. And even with a, an election that took place in November, uh, and I think some people thought the strategy would be, well, there might be new supervisors, or there might be more uh, elected officials that would take an interest in this. But in fact, uh, it really feels like it's even more back burner at this point. It feels like they're in the been there, done that mode, and they're not really interested in helping. You know, I think that it's back to that the the elected officials in Virginia have always been against um, putting creating some sort of easement or doing some sort of imminent, imminent domain, and that hasn't changed. I've heard people say over and over again, "Well, yeah, you you solved the problem on this side, but then that didn't solve the Virginia side." My view is once you get something going on this side, the pressure on Loudoun County and the state of Virginia increases dramatically. They would have a lot more incentive to want to do something if the state of Maryland, for example, or the county actually owned the ferry, for example. Uh, it would be a lot harder for them to say, well, we're not going to do anything because it's a private party.